everybody. Hi, everybody. All right, so. Hi, guys. How are you? All right, so. I haven't been such a bad person, how? Huh? Hi guys, hello. I'm so sorry that I'm late, but uh, I'm going to definitely fulfill what uh, we discussed last time. But in the interim, I'm going to play the music. I want you guys to understand that uh, we need to keep our celebrations on till we cross, right? Um, so yeah, what's up? What's everybody? It's time for you to cook with me here. So I'm going to check in and see how you guys are doing. What's up? Please just tell me where you're watching us from because it's gonna be live as we cook together. We just wanna dine, it's Friday night. So, uh, shout out everybody. It's happy Friday. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, so guys, chill while I'm gonna play music for you right now. Chill, relax. Okay, so. Hi, everybody. What's up? <laughs> So good to see you guys. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Edison. You're the first one to be here. Alright, I want you guys not to ever, ever, do, don't, don't lose your spirit or celebrations, okay? Our, we are going to cross the river. So I want to check in with you and see how you guys are doing. And uh, like I promise, we're going to be cooking together today. Our, um, you know? <laughs> While we talk, it's going to be such a, um, an amazing day. I'm so excited, uh, really. Yeah, well, tell me where you're watching us from, and please drop your location. I'm gonna send some shout out to you, all right? Um, I'm so excited. Thank you guys for coming through. Stick around, we're going to be making our oxtail. Let me tell you what happened today. Apparently, um, I struggled with one in my zone, so I settled, um, uh, hi, what's up? Hi, man, hi! <laughs> I said you guys should keep on celebrating. Remember, God is able, He will make a way. So keep your celebrations, don't lose your joy. You know, when you have joy, you will keep attracting good. You know what I mean? So we're gonna be cooking together today. Like I said to you, we're going to be cooking mazono. However, we are going to be cooking oxtail today. Um, while well, I'm just add me on live, or oh, can I? Can I add some? Can I do that? Um, let me. I can. Let me see if I can add you. Um, please be. Uh, huh, where do I? Where am I supposed to go to add it <laughs> It's so good to see you guys. Good to see you. Our happy Friday, everybody. Um, hi, McDonald, Mutare. What's happening in Mutare? Uh, so good to see you guys. You're welcome. Thank you for coming through. <laughs> so good to see you. Yeah, I love you so much. Um, and um, I really can't wait to just dine with you. It's a Friday night, so let's let's keep the ball rolling. I'm asking you to like the live. Let's push the algorithm so that at least other people can join us while we're having a good time. And I'm going to ask you a question, uh, very important. And I'm expecting you to interact with me while we cook. So we're definitely going to be cooking an oxtail. Hi, Luxon. Happy to see you. You're welcome. Uh, we have Peter right there watching from Cosmo City, Broadport. You're in my, you're in my city. You're in my town. I'm going to say shout out to you. <laughs> so good to see you guys. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the stove. I'll turn on the stove right now. Please walk through this journey with me. I also wanna know how you guys normally make your oxtail, okay? So when you cook at home, how do you normally make your oxtail? Share, share with me, please. Big gracious, our uh, hello sister. Hi, Robson, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> oh my word. Uh, I'm so I'm so glad right now that you guys are coming through and like I said to you Please make sure that you like the life because we need to push the algorithm so that we can invite other people Let me just have some water Right It's good to see you um, No matter it's good to see you I'm super excited so we're gonna start cooking right now. I'm going to switch on my stove. We are making oxtail tonight just for fun, uh, right? Because <laughs> I want to hang out 
with you, y'all. Uh, you know, I, I'm not, I don't drink, and uh, I didn't have no dinner date today, so pretty much, I said, let me just spend my time with my people. Y'all, you're special to me, all right? <laughs> you're so important. I want you guys to know that. Um, I'm asking you to share the life, please. Share the life. Come up, come. Yeah, so let me start cooking. So we're going to switch on our stove right now. Be gracious. Okay. Uh-huh. Because what we are trying to do here is we are trying to... Hi guys! For those that are just joining us, we ask you to like the live and let's just uh, roll together. So I'm super excited. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to try to toast my oxtail. I'm, I just want to brown it quickly so that um, I can actually cook it. So let's go. Yes, we're going to put some oil, some olive oil right here. Okay, so, okay, uh, man, I need a, bit, a little bit because I'm going to have to make sure, hi guys, for those that are just joining us, are you guys good? What's happening? What's happening? Okay, hi, sister, we're watching from Roadport. Hi, Florence, it's good to see you. Are you good? What's happening, guys? Please don't forget to like the live as we are um, cooking some oxtail. <laughs> yeah, it's a Friday night with me. <laughs> You know, um, it's a pit. I don't drink alcohol, so um, you're gonna have to just dine with me. For those that are in the UK, hi, Pat, what's up? Are you good? How is the UK? What's happening? How is the weather that side? And what's going on? Good to see you. Thank you guys for coming through. It's so good. I'm so excited. So let me see you quickly. So now we're going to be taking our oxtail quickly and make sure that we. So here we go. So we will make sure that we get to brown our oxtail together we can. Like what else? So together we can, right? We're going to brown our meat. Okay. So this is what I did, guys. So what I did is that I already cut some of my um, stuff that I need to use. So I have my tomatoes right here, already grated. I have my, um, so I personally prefer red onions too. Uh, to white. So here I am with my red onion. I also have my green, red, and yellow pepper here. Um, okay, so this is the red pepper, my bad. But because uh -huh. so I want to go through this with here. Let me just take this one here. So, I want to Pray for me. Just pray for me, y'all. Pray for me, y'all. Pray, pray, pray for me. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, y'all. I said, tell me where you're watching from. Why are we cooking? <laughs> I know my camera is a little bit far, but uh, please, guys, be gracious. Uh-huh. Please be gracious. I'm going to put this one down here so we can put it here. Because we're going to need that. Hi guys, shout out to everybody who's just joining us. We are cooking tonight. So what we are doing is we are making some oxtail, okay? Uh -huh. so, so what I need, I need a bit of, I need my salt and I also need my paper. So let's go. Let's have some salt here. Okay. Guys, what's up? How y'all doing? Oh my god, hi everybody! I, like I said, if you're just joining us, please like the live. We need to push the algorithm. Uh, why are we making an oxtail tonight? It's gonna be, I'm having fun, y'all. I love to cook. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Alright, so um Okay guys, where are you watching us from? 
shout out to everybody. I really want you to tell me where you're watching us because I need to send you some shout out. It's a Friday night, y'all. So you're gonna just hang out with me and uh, having some fun here. Um, what's happening? What's going on your side? You are eating together. We are, are we eating? Yes, Robson, we will. Because I'm crossing. Are you for real? <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified. Are you closer to me? <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh -huh. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of music on Hi, guys. So we're going to have some music while we cook. Uh, music is good, right? So I've heard some people having a problem with the fact that I laugh a lot. Okay, so, you know, let me, let me say this. People are different, and I'm not really a laughing child, but I also have emotions. So I can get upset, but I have to give forward to my settings of always smiling um, and thanking God for the gift of life. Uh, some people didn't cross the day today. They literally went to heaven. And here I'm still here, you know, like hanging out with you guys. It means a lot, you know what I mean? So I'm not taking this for granted at all. So I have to smile and be grateful. I'm asking you guys to like the life so that we can post the algorithm while we hang out together. I, like I said to you, we're still going to get through. I want you guys to understand that um, no matter what's going on right now, we're definitely going to cross. Um, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Okay, so Mr. Mnangagwa officially is going to inaugurate himself on Monday <laughs> with his bodies, his friends, uh, this coming Monday. Exciting, huh? Exciting news. Um, but I will tell you why I think it's a bit suicidal. I will tell you why I think it's suicidal, right? Thank you so much for coming through. We're gonna have a party. You know, you just wanna hang with your sister today when she's do some cooking. So good to see you. <laughs> so good to see you guys. I'm really good. It's good to see you. Um so like I mentioned to you guys that um uh, the president, Edie, is going to you know, Roy himself is coming on here uh, as a president of Zimbabwe. I'll tell you why I think it is suicidal. I'll tell you why. Um, do you also know that Zek is actually... So ZAMPF is suing Zek. <laughs> Which means ZAMPF is suing itself. <laughs> Hi, it is. How are you doing? So Minangabo wants to, you know, correct himself. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, he is. Um, otherwise, what's up, guys? What's happening? So, for both, oh, by the way, guys, I need to make some of my uh, stuff. I need. I need to make some of my stuff. I need. I need to make some of my I love them so much. So, I need to cut those ones. Just cut with me. Let's be hanging out together. So, you're gonna be precious with me, and let's put this together. Right? Guys, you know, one of the things that I've been telling people, you know, butter, butter is a bomb. So every meat that you make, if you want to soften your meat, make sure you have butter. Okay, so because I am, I am lactose intolerant. I don't eat anything dairy, so I always have to use a vegan butter. So guys, we're gonna have to add some butter in our meat so we can soften. It's very important. Uh -huh. And I put a little bit of butter. Anything. Butter 
is super cool when you want to soften your makeup. Super, super cool. Okay. <laughs> That's for those that are just joining us. I'm saying you're welcome. Thank you for coming through. And it's good to see you guys. Good to see you. Um, Nice. What's up, y'all? <laughs> um, it's Friday night, so if you drink alcohol, I'm asking you to take your alcohol and just give some drinks while you dine with me. And some coffee. <laughs> so, like I said to you, I had an option to make mazondo, but we struggled to get mazondo, and then we opted for oxtail. So we are making oxtail tonight, and um, I'm sorry that I tried to cook a little bit late, but um, um, it's like you know let the life let's move let's rock let's roll god is good you know what i mean let's celebrate let's keep our hearts on don't worry about the inauguration you need to focus on what god is going to do you know that's what's your focus that's true oh yeah <laughs> you know don't worry about the rest of the things i want to know where are you guys watching us from and how do you normally make your own oxtail okay so i want you guys to share your own recipe with me, right? As I am sharing my personal recipe. Um, so. From and also like the live, let's push the algorithm while we're having some fun. It's Friday night, so we're gonna be chilling together um, as we cook it. I'm waiting to see some of your recipes. Please do share your recipes, please do. Please be kind, be kind, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. So while I'm making my, while I'm cutting some of my uh, shallots, <laughs> what's up, y'all? <laughs> I'm so happy to see you guys. I'm super happy. Okay, so we're gonna cut. Um, right. This is good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, good. Okay, so I said to you guys, what do you think about Miss Samnangagum uh, Sinobo Russian this coming? <laughs> do you know, um, hi Tendai, oh, hi Tendai, it's good to see you, how is uh, California, it's good to see you man, good to see you. Alright, so let me tell you this, um, why I'm thinking that Miss Samnangagum is shooting is something the food. Have you ever seen a situation where you actually you know it's like you're planning your own wedding when you're supposed to marry someone who doesn't love you do you know what i'm talking about have you ever seen women who literally run pillar to post north and south trying to prepare for a wedding when the men do not even want them or a man also spending a lot of money trying to please a woman who is not in love with her with him you know what i mean that's exactly what's going on with uh, this inauguration 
Zimbabweans don't even have a clue of what's going on on Monday. But there's a minute, a group of people, a handful, who thinks there's going to be a wedding. There's going to be an operation. I bet you this is shooting themselves to the foot. We all know how incompetent and how um, you know, ugly some of these people are. Because when it comes to leadership, you really have to be in love with people. If you're not in love with people, nothing will work. So I don't know what he's doing, but um, I don't see anything happen there. I don't have a clue of what's happening here. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I have my president. He's still my proper picture, and I believe in his leadership, and I know he's going to be the president of Zimbabwe. I know that. Soon. Very soon. So by the way, you guys, you, told, you saw my video when I was talking about the issue of the coup. That is being preached on social media today. So Ali has been going on a trip, <laughs> you know, going on a trip talking about a coup. And uh, we're all watching from the terrace uh, to see what happens. If the coup is going to happen, you know, let's see what's going to happen. Um, but some people think it's a job. But, uh, like I said, wait and see. Okay, now. that people normally use is a wine because I don't drink alcohol so I rarely cook with alcohol um so that's what and by the way I also have children so I have kids in my house I don't want them to see alcohol because you know you never know kids are naughty and I don't want to introduce them to a lifestyle that I know I won't be able to keep up with so no alcohol in here it's an or it's an or <laughs> it is an or you know, um, but um, life goes on. So guys, tell me where you're watching us from because some people are just joining us and you're not passing, stay around, let's cook. So we're making some oxtail tonight. Um, now, that oh, my oxtail now is really brown, I browned my meat. I'm sorry that my camera won't be able to be close because nobody, it's, it's only me here. No one is taking this video, I am. So please just bear with me next time. I'll make sure I've got a photographer who can be showing you how brown my meat is, but I can show you still. Okay, so this is how brown is my meat, right? And then, if you, don't worry, my, I'm set, the, the hands are not at a cold. They, they find these hands are soft. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to start adding our stuff. So um, we have our red color. I normally like to use garlic and ginger first. So we're gonna go with the garlic and ginger a little bit. Um, and then let's go in, I'm just gonna use this one. So what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm going to remove my meat first because I need to actually see what's going on with my veggies. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my meat. Okay. Uh -huh. And here is what I found. Oh, by the way, this is smelling so good, y'all. Smelling so good. And it's like my first time to cook for life. So please just be gracious and be <laughs> nice. All right, so we're going to go with our shallows first. Our shallows, I prefer the red one, so I'm going to go with my red onion. Uh, let's go here. Okay, we're gonna go with the red onion. Just do that. And then we can do the green one. doing today's Friday night. What are you guys doing? So let's put our green onions here. 
Then we're going to add our paper. So the green yellow paper. Uh, and also we can have the red paper. Uh -huh. Tell me what you guys are doing. Where are you washing us from and what are you doing? I prefer to use the wooden spoon. That's what I prefer. I don't know what you guys prefer to use, but I prefer the wooden spoon. So we're gonna go in and make sure that we toast our veggies. And I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil because the last time I didn't put more. So we're gonna add a little bit. Uh huh. Here we go. Sorry. Okay. Did you just hear that I said daddy? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, let me tell you. Um, I know it is strange, you know, because every time people think someone, when you drop something, you should say mom or anything. No, me, I always say daddy. So it's me and my daddy, we're very close. My mom and I were extremely, extremely close uh, before she went to heaven. But my daddy and I, we are really like bodies. Hi, Pearson, what's up? How is work? You're working from home. Oh man, how is work? So um, that's why you heard me say daddy, because me and my father were like real buddies. It's funny and nothing um, is a sham. What are you cooking? So I'm making oxo, you guys. I'm making oxo. They found out should become a zondo, but for some reason we did not manage to get them, so we opted for oxo. That's what I'm making right now. So I'm just trying to toss my vegetables right here. And uh, like I said, let me put a little bit of ginger and garlic. Okay, so we're gonna go with ginger and garlic. Also, so. a little bit of ginger and garlic. So if you're just joining us, guys, how are you doing? Where are you watching us from? Uh -huh. So we're going to put a little bit of garlic and ginger here. And the pan, because that's what uh, So, okay. Because I love myself and I love everyone else, um, I'm going to build a little bit of spices, so please just bear with me. I'm getting some spices. Sorry. So I've got a number of spices here, so I'm going to put a little bit of spices just to spice up my meat. <laughs> We're going to spice up the meat. So we have a number here. We have, uh, oh wow, quite a number, quite a number, a number. So this spice, I'm not going to sell nobody's brand here. Um, uh -huh, so we're going to go with a little bit of thyme. I don't have a problem to have the dry one, it's still fine. Uh, a little bit of thyme here. Okay, even the dry ones are good if you've got fresh ones, good to go. So we're going to go with a bit of thyme. And also, guys, the garlic, let me tell you, the garlic flakes, I love them. They're just an incredible flavor that, you know, they literally gives it perfect. So we're gonna put a little bit of um, garlic flax. For me, it's really about the flavor. Like the flavor is like, I believe that a recipe should begin with more than just a list of ingredients. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, um, guess I'm alone. So some of the things I have to do prior so that at least I am able to keep up with the time and just I died with, with you. Okay, so let's put this one away. I love my, this one I'm going to put it last, my parsley, like really fresh parsley. I'm going to put it at the end. Like I said, I don't drink alcohol, but if I'm cooking for people who takes alcohol, I normally use wine. So the red wine is perfect. A little bit of sugar gives you that flavor, that sweetness, um, which is literally like the best, you know. <laughs> But because I'm not an alcohol person and um, you know I'm already like I'm, I was born drunk you know I'm always like jinga jinga happy all the time imagine if I could take alcohol I don't know where I'll be but uh, <laughs> thank god I don't want to drink alcohol thank god okay so let's know what we're gonna do we're gonna add our meat okay 
Let's add our meat. I know that salt and pepper, I may need to add that um, just to make sure. Salt and pepper. Because our salt wasn't much. We're going to add a little bit of more. Um, you know? Just take this one away. that I put here, I'm going to add more salt and also get a bit of broth here. So we got, instead of, we're going to use the beef broth. So this one I got, I'm not marketing forward, no way. So we got this beef broth is what we're going to use for flavor as well. And uh, so we're just going to get this to cut. Guys, I just want to say shout out to everyone who just joined us. Where are you watching us from? <laughs> Ruby decided to do some cooking here. Um, while we dine, you know, we, we're not talking about news all the time or what's going on in our society, just to some commentary. The girl just want to cook, y'all. <laughs> Instead of cooking and just to sit down, I said, oh, let me just like pull you, you know, and then we can just watch what's happening here. And yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, and you guys tell me what's happening on your end. What's going on? What are you doing right now? Uh, it's Friday night. What's up? Please, let's share. What are you doing? Let's share. So we're going to put more... Uh, tomato. We want our tomato, right? We're gonna put tomato. Um, you know, you cannot make bread. You can make bread without tomato. But yeah, I want tomato. I really love tomato. Okay. So let's toss a bit. Let's just mix a little bit. Make sure every every piece is happy that I got to be loved with tomato, right? And then let's add more salt, very important. More salt. Okay. More salt and paper. Right. And then we cannot add our broth. Because we want this to simmer, we're going to reduce our Heat a bit, so let's cut. Okay. So let's put our broth, let's just add our broth here. This one is, the flavor is incredible. You know, this is beef, so pretty much it's going to work perfectly. So we're gonna add our broth. And then, um, I always prefer like to clean up where I am uh, using my stuff. Let's just want to get this so that I don't get more. So guys, we're going to add, just get a lead with it. Yeah. So we're going to reduce, just so that you can see him, okay? So we're going to reduce our heat a bit. While we look at what's going out, on out there. Okay, let me just pull my computer, then we talk about what's training right now, yeah. So, now I want my meat to just, to cook, slowly but surely. You know, uh, in life, huh? they always say like, patience is a virtue. We're going to take a bit of time where we're talking about what's going on in our series. What's up? And what are people saying about this upcoming inauguration of E.D. Monangagwa? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to open our computer. Okay, and let's check what's trending on Twitter. And then, remember during the day when I was doing these videos, I actually did not finish. So I said to, my, to me, to you guys, I'm gonna come back so we can do this together. So I'm gonna come closer, you know, and while I'm having my water, like I said, I love water, guys. Water is like everything to me. I need to add more. I need more water. Uh, while we're checking in with um, Mr. 
Monangaba. So they sent out a memo today. Apparently, let me just go and get a bit of tissue. Uh, they sent out a memo today. Um, <laughs> interesting, actually. And I saw that memo. Uh, people were talking about it. So let's just go through the stuff together. And while we understand what is really going on in the camp, <laughs> what's happening in some fear of camp, you know. So uh, the memo that people are busy criticizing on Twitter, it says, uh, just hold on for me because I'm going to have to open it. But before, let me just go to our trends first, before we even talk about the memo, okay. So what's trending right now, y'all? <clears throat> Inauguration is training, inauguration. So people are saying, oh, what, what, what is, what is it, this whole inauguration stuff? Well, considering that we had a shambolic, a sham of an election, and now we're hearing that we've got an inauguration coming, we're like, hey, there's a wedding. Even if I say that, we, we're not kind of getting along. How on earth did you plan a wedding when I'm telling you that we have issues that we need to iron out? Do you think that that marriage will work? A principle is a principle. If there's no relationship with the people that you're supposed to lead, whom are you leading? Whom are you leading? A faction? So you can say, okay, you know, I want to give you a scenario where this is actually an incredible uh, uh, analogy, right? You get to marry into a family, for example. I've seen people say, oh, no, it's just me and my man, we love each other, right? It's me and my husband, we love each other. I don't care about this family. I don't care about this mom. I don't care. The mom, let me use the mom and dad because these are the most important people. We are the moms and the daddy of Edi. Without us as citizens, there is no inauguration and there's no presidency. You can only be a president when you are aligning with the people, especially the majority. So you are getting married to a family where you and the mom, you don't get along. Or the daddy do not like you. You know, one of the things that I remember correctly uh, some time ago, and I was talking to one of my friends, a bishop in Zimbabwe, actually, the son, was telling me, he said he was dating this girl. And while he was dating the girl, she was a model, well-known model. If I mention the name of the bishop, you'll be able to pick up, but I won't mention. I don't use names when I talk about stuff. Uh, Ruru Dish is a work of art that is personal and, you know, so... I didn't see that, but I will, I will check in. I will check in. I'm actually going to check in, connect it to my phone, to my, to my computer. So while they were dating, right? So one of the policy of the family were, if they're going on holiday while you're dating, if you're courting someone, they would go with you to, the, to, to their holiday, you know? So they went to the girl together. They went to the holiday. While they were, uh, they were having a holiday in, uh, was Deben here, Deben right here. They had a scaffold. So the boyfriend and the girlfriend and this couple, the son, and the mom saw it, the bishop's wife saw it. And she, she said afterwards, she said, later called him and said, my son, I don't think this woman is for you. He's not a good man, woman for you. And because he was in love, he was in love. Have you ever been in love with someone? Have you ever loved somebody? Yeah. <laughs> you know, have you ever loved someone? I'm talking about real genuine, you know, that love of this, your, your, your high school sweetheart when you feel the jingles, like, oh my God, like this is crazy. Yo. So he was definitely in love, this guy. And he went on with his relationship, but the mom had already said, my son, this woman is not a good woman for you. You know, one thing about the wisdom of the world is that parents can see stuff that you don't see. And there's so many of you here that your family has told you this man or your family said, this woman, she's not good for you. And you went on with the relationship. Some of you, you're married and you're having issues. It's because elders can see what you don't see. You know, the wisdom of the old is I'm able to see when my son is making a mistake or my daughter or my, my niece or my nephew that, oof, this person is almost tripping. So that's exactly what happened there. And what I'm trying to tell you is, and fast forward, the relationships fell apart. And he discovered that this girl was actually dating the son, the, the cousin, sorry. This is a bishop in Saniao, a well-respected bishop in Zimbabwe. And the son was dating this girl and she was actually dating the cousin. These are the kind of people that we have. What am I telling you? The relationship fell apart because people have seen. I'm trying to say to me, Samnangaba, as long as you're not in love with the masses, it's going to be a long journey for you. 
You can't leave that country. It's going to be hard to run that country without the love of the people. Because the people are the, are the country. You know, there's no country. It's not only about the war or borders. No. A country is the people. And like I told you last time that uh, Mr. Mzimba actually confirmed that uh, in 2008, while they were um, just hanging uh, ministers, because remember there was a squabble fighting between MGC and ZANPF, he said they struggled. They struggled to lead the people because there was no connection. People were denying to say, who is ZANPF? We don't know here. You have killed our people here. But remember, that's why they were cutting hands. They were in a short sleeve or long sleeve. Demonic, diabolical, satanic, wicked from the pit of hell. So he said they struggled to actually have a connection with the people. This is to tell you, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for a member of parliament who's going to say, knock the door in Glenview, anywhere you never want, and say, I want to lead you. People are going to say, excuse me, we dropped our vote, and you stole our vote. And now you think you can come and say, you lead us? I feel like some people are just shooting themselves in the foot. But let me read the, what the memo says. Um... Zimbabwe is, a, is a, a, that country is known for drama, drama. Okay, so the mama says all heads of missions, that's the heading, inauguration and swearing in ceremony of the president, His Excellency Dr. Emerson Dabuzo Mnangawa on 4th September 2023. The inauguration and swearing in ceremony of His Excellency Dr. Emerson Mnangawa as the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe is scheduled for Monday, 4th of September 2023 at the National Sports Stadium. His Excellency has invited his counterparts to attend the event. Please be advised that only heads of missions whose heads of, of state government are attending the inauguration ceremony will be allowed to come. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, oh, wow. And that was signed by Ambassador Jay Manzo, Secretary for the Foreign Affairs and Internal, so International Trade. I think one of the things that I would say is that in Zambia, these people are so, so disrespectful. Guys, do you remember the song I was playing with you guys when we started? Uh, this song of saying, Tino, Tino Shika, I remember. Do you remember the joy that, uh, that, that actually was literally permeating on so many people's faces? When we were doing the car, when we were on the campaign trial, do you recall that? People were dancing, they had hope. You know, people believed in the joy that were before them. People believed that we were going to cross. And I'm not saying we're not going to cross, we are crossing. <laughs> we are crossing. Don't forget about the inauguration. We are crossing. Forget about the inauguration. We are crossing. So, People were joyful, you know, left, right. People were excited. They could not wait to see what was going to happen, you know. And the very some people that were joyful were slept with a stolen election. They were duped. They were humiliated. I'm talking of elders who slept at polling stations. You know, when I think about it, it makes me wonder if we actually have humans in Zimbabwe. Because only a person who's not a human, who have be kept, have the capacity to subvert the will of the people. Like, like to, 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 to con people right in front of them. Like, you know, you, we were conned when our eyes were opened. And not only after being conned, we are being treated like we are not human at the same time. These people are carrying on to do inauguration, notwithstanding the arguments, the pain that is in our people. They are carrying on to having inauguration or celebrating and eating rice and drinking and smoke. While you were busy moving from city to city, selling a word of hope to every, every ordinary Zimbabwean, they were in Dubai shopping with the money that they've looted from your gold, from your platinum, from your diamond. Everything is on public domain. They were shopping, their slave queens, taking pictures in Dubai, going all over the world at the same time and come back to you who was working 24 7 trying to sell a word of hope to everyone and take your, 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 your vote right in front of your eyes. 
and they're celebrating on Monday. Ah, yo, I'm terrified. Davachka manu ava, davachka. You know, I once heard about how evil people can be in Zimbabwe, but this, this, this kind of evil. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This one, y'all, where you disregard the elders, Chamber is a car at my polling station. Ah! Wow! Did you see when they were sitting around the table with those musicians and they were like eating, you know, and um, they were having <clears throat> sorry, a buffet? Do you remember? Let me have some water. Do you recall, guys? When they were having some buffet, and the first same people, these musicians, they are being bought cars. Range Rover, you saw the Mercedes Benz. And uh, these people, they are in their own world, yo. We are just their servants while they are dining and eating and drinking and driving expensive cars and living. They can do whatever they want. And in the back of their minds is God is not watching and he won't answer. No, no, you answer very soon. Something is happening in the background. Wait and see what's going to unfold very soon. Zimbabweans are not going to be abused any longer. Let me read some of the tweets that are going down on Twitter right now. People say that no, it's, it, elections are not being won on Twitter now. We are living in 2023, things have changed. So gone are the days where you will do your evil and get away with it. In 2023, it comes with consequences. Very soon. You can't store this election and then get away with it. This election is coming with consequences, y'all. People are going to pay heavy cost for this. For abusing the elders who literally slept at polling stations to cast a vote of hope. Young boys and girls treated them like they are nothing. Yo, I'm terrified that we don't even understand the value of parents, mothers, Grandmothers, you know, society, we have lost that aroma of love, of family, of understanding that this world is not our home. This is simply, um, we're just passing by. We came with nothing, you know, we're going to live with nothing. You know, I've always said to people, what is a house compared to life? It's simply darker. Mavu, never darker. What is a car compared to life? It's simply I'm not withstanding the comfort. If you go to a scrapyard, you see cars. What is luxury compared to become of a blessing to your brother, to your sister, to your uncle, to people around you, to make sure everyone is eaten? Did you see the president of Gabon? He had millions of dollars in bags in his house. And there were people starving in the neighborhood. And you know, he's crying, expecting us to come here and be jumping in. We're not going to rescue father. You must pay for the evil that you have done. And Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, especially the leaders in Zimbabwe, God loves them. Let me explain to you why I say so. Because there's been a lot of signs that God is showing them to say, let go. Let go. And you know, like Pharaoh. God kept on sending signs. Pharaoh was like, no way. I'm a God right here. You know, I'm a God right here. Hi, Charles. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I hope you're good. I'm a God right here. And you know what? <clears throat> God is not just quiet. Y'all. Something, something is going to happen soon. You will remember. And anyway, please make sure you come back here. Something is going to happen. They can't store your hope. Store your purpose, store your joy, store your freedom, and get away with it. They may have get away, they've gotten away with a lot over the years, but 43 years now, 2023, they can't cross the line. The lines they've crossed before, this line here, they won't cross it because God won't let them. And some people may say, oh my God, I've heard about God. No, you've heard it from me. I've said it. God won't let them. You won't allow them to cross this line while he, they're hating you. You deserve to live a life of fulfillment. They can't take that away from you. It's not possible. God won't let them. 
telling you now. So we're gonna check on our food. How far is the oxo? Let's just check in to see. Mm -mm. Mm. Guys, it smells so nice, yo. It smells so good, yo. I love the flavor. The smell is so good, yo. Oh, I wish you didn't just come and dine with me. <laughs> I wish I guess we're closer. So I normally like I normally serve this with either rice or potatoes or for those you know salsa. You know what I mean? If you like salsa and vegetables. By the way, we go to a sauce. Um, but because my family, my sister and my, our kids loves vegetables, not like the real they love it a lot. What the poor number <laughs> she was, don't worry, you shall get it. You must get hold of my assistant and then um then we you know what I mean, but you will have it. So relax. Um <laughs> Apparently, guys, oh, you came late. Okay, so I'm cooking. I'm literally cooking oxtail. And this was in honor, in honor of men. <laughs> it was in honor. I discovered that most of the people who subscribe to my channel are actually men more than women. So I thought it was important for me to actually consider men first. And I think men are so important in our society because they bring so much, you know, strength. They protect our communities and that's why I wanted to prefer them and then I'll look at women later on and I can dine with my girls but this was specifically um, you know made for men because you're special I wanted to know all of you men that are here you're so important I'm asking you I'm asking you to look after your families your sisters look after them protect them make sure that you resemble um, the kind of by the way you treat your sisters by the way you treat the people in your family resemble that um and and i want to say thank you for that i pray and if you want to marry someone if you're in a relationship if you're married or in a relationship treat your wives well treat them well um don't listen to what the community is saying women but some people talk talk you out of purpose they'll tell you no we, women must be beaten up that is evil don't don't beat your wife okay don't If you are here, and um, for me, Kukupiro, you make me feel angry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So I'm making oxtail. So I'm telling you, you know, it smells, it smells so good, y'all. You, you, I wish you were here, the flavor. <clears throat> just, oh, God, oh, praise the Lord. Uh, what I was saying is that if you're a man, I'm asking you and I'm begging you because I know what's going on out there. Treat your family well, your sisters, your wife, your cousins, you must embody the kind of community you want to live in. By firstly show love, extend love all the time, you know, you, you don't lose anything. It's diabolical, it's wicked, it's evil. When you beat your wife, you're not beating her, you're beating yourself. You are taking it out of purpose because now, there's always going to be this negative energy that you don't deserve. Now, another bomb I'm going to drop today because I'm doing it for a reason. I know most of you here, men that are here, if you're a man, there are people who are telling you that you should have as many women as you want. As many as you want, right? It's how we're in 2023, right? So people believe it's, it's, it's an era way, you know, everything is sexualized. So... You can have as many women as you want in the society. Listen to your sissy. The days we are in are bad. Some of you in there, you know for sure that you were in the right direction before you started playing around with women. You know. And everything went south. You know why? Because some of the women you are seeing out there are not human. Hear from me now, your sissy. They are not human. We are living in very dark days. Um, the enemy is up to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Some of the people you are seeing walking out there in the streets, you look and you think that, oh man, she's so beautiful. No, they are not human. They are agents of Satan from the pit of hell to destroy your destiny and to destroy your families. Your marriages always have issues because you're bringing out negative energy from different types of women you are meeting in the streets. You wonder why nothing is working. Your kids are not doing well at school. Your marriage is falling apart. You are fighting all the time because you allowed some evil spirits to mess up your marriage and your family. Stop that. Find ways 
to build your a strong home. It takes intentionality to win in life. I'm giving you words of wisdom. If you're a man, number one, protect the community. Number two, if you're married or you're, even if you're single, stop messing up with women. In 2023, most of them are actually not even human. If you didn't know that, ask people who are in the marine kingdom. But majority of people you are seeing out there are not human. But they masquerading themselves as human because that's how they destroy men. You find out nothing. You're either at work, you're not doing extremely well, you're always miserable, you're always angry, you're always fighting with your wife, there's nothing wakes your children, you don't spend time with your children. Spend time with your children. Spend time building your homes. Do not waste your energy and your time to build strange people that you won't even remember their names in the next year or two. It's foolishness. It's not wisdom. The Bible is very clear. Remember Solomon? Solomon told you. Solomon told you that I went after strange women. Solomon had 700 wives. He had 400 concubines. It's like saying, oh, married to... Concubines are wives, but they're not really like you. you they're, they're wives, but they're not taking that, um, like, the, the first preference. I want to almost, almost mention someone that you know, very close, married to a president. Son, she's a concubine, but the wife is there. So, but she's a concubine. So Solomon had 400 concubines. He began to worship idols because each and every concubine, which means each and every woman, was serving either one god or the other. And that made him went astray and he began to go after strange women. That was the end of his destiny. And some of you, you know you were doing so well before you started following after strange women. And everything is falling apart. You don't know if you're going or you're coming back. You are all over the place. No direction, no vision. But here's the thing. This is the good news. You can turn. You can turn. Um, if you want to go the other direction, realize that no, you're going the wrong direction. What do you do? You turn. I'm expecting you to do the same. We expect men who build strong families by action. You have to be intentional. Oh my God, we're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, how many minutes have I been here? Oh, I've been here for almost more, nearly, nearly an hour. So, guys, I've been so gracious. So, you should say, shout out to me. Okay, by the way, please tell me where you're watching us from. And don't forget to like the live. Ruby, you are preaching real good. I'm actually a pastor. I. <laughs> so, um, you know, the one thing that I will tell you that I do not like. Pastor, may the Lord bless you. One thing that I do not like, and I've told my parents, I don't want to be called any of any pastor, prophet, teacher, evangelist, bishop, not one. I want to be called Rumbi. The reason is because the church is contaminated by liars, um, you know, satanic mafias, also uh, fake prophets. You know, the devil is coming in and sitting in the church and it's a mess. I don't want to be called in, I want to be called a Rumbi. And I know I can still fulfill purpose by my name. Rumbi and still doing great things as the Lord has sent me, but I'm not, I do not want any title. I don't like titles in my life. I always prefer to fulfill purpose the way that I'm in. But I'm saying, Pastor, thank you so much for actually agreeing with some of the things I'm saying because we are living in a society that is not really spreading the right words. And the people are stuck, they don't know why things are not working. Some of you, it's not working because you just met the wrong women. Some of you here, your names as we speak are right in the water. They hold you and your family that you're not going to do nothing. Because remember, the girls that are part of the marine kingdom, they are getting stuff from the marine kingdom, right? Material things. But in exchange, in return, they have to go back to the marine kingdom. And those spams for men, hear this and hear carefully because I'm helping. They go back to the marine kingdom with something. It's a transaction. That's when you see that your life started just as a mess. But everything was working. You did your school well. You had a nice job. From the time you started going after women, now you can't. Every woman you meet, you're after them. It's a spirit of evil. It's demonic. It's satanic. It's not normal. Help yourself by choosing the right people and the right company. Be intentional. Um, be intentional. You know. 
And by the way, guys, where we are here, I want to tell you, I want to tell you something that I'm celebrating today. And trust me, that's why I actually did this live the way I planned it because I wanted to tell you that I'm actually celebrating something so special to my life. <laughs> in my life. So, um, <clears throat> about 18 years ago, I chose to abstain. 18 years ago. So today I'm celebrating the 18 year the year abstaining abstaining from sex. Yeah, be in mind. Yes, I chose to be pure. So um I want to talk to the girls and it's the people. Here. So it's 18 years, y'all. Please just give me some thumbs up. Please do you know? Do you want to my work? Yes. Good to God. 18 years, yo. 18, one, eight. Yes. Abstaining from sexual intercourse. Until I find the right man. Um, a husband. So, I am a wife and I want a husband. If there's no husband, then boom, boom. Please clap yes for me. Please pray for me. <laughs> I knew, I didn't want to tell you. That's why I did the, this live the way that I did it. I really just wanted to reach out and say, celebrate with me 18 years, yes, abstaining, uh, being celibate. I chose that life really for a reason because it's important to me. Hi, cute. How is it going watching you all the way from uh, New Zealand? How is New Zealand? No, everything's good. We are cooking almost done. <clears throat> almost done. We are almost done. So, <laughs> almost done, y'all. We managed. Ooh, this looks absolutely lovely. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna show you how lovely it looks. Ooh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it looks so lovely. Oh my way. And I, you know, I love my meat to be a bit soft. So I'm gonna be gracious and leave it more i want I, I love my box style to be soft i prefer it soft so it smells so good but i want it to be soft all right so mm -hmm, so we were talking about <laughs> i know there's some of people are gonna ask how uh how did i do it so first thing that happens is that zara sorry I, like i said to you guys i struggle to actually read shona um, but I read, but I struggle. So if I'm not reading, you just be safe, praise the Lord. Just be gracious. So I'll tell you something. Uh, why did I chose that life? And uh, one day I'll tell you what are some of the advantages of uh, abstaining, especially for the girls. Like the girls, I must just deal with my girls. What are the advantages of, of those decisions? And also disadvantages as well. You know what I mean? Because, you know... In, as much as you can enjoy something, there's always going to be some struggles and challenges there. I'm also going to run that with you as well. Um, but hey, it has been a journey. It has been a journey. I'm simply saying, on, oh, I'm oh, no, hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you must <laughs> come, let's eat. Please come, let's eat. So, yeah, it, is, it really has been such an incredible journey for me. Um, just choosing to uh, purity over anything because... Um, I mean, my sister from Botswana, praise God, amen. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I cho me choosing purity really has been such a journey and quite an amazing journey, you know. These things, oh, people really talk about it, but the reason why I decided to come out and to really talk about it is because I know there are so many young girls, so many, many of them, especially in a church setup who are struggling because people are always going to make them feel like they're not worthy or they are not human. So I said, let me stand. Well, was this wonderful, you genius. This <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm 40 years old, 40 years old. So um, I want to help young girls, to inspire them to know that their body is worthy. They're worth really more than rubies. They're important. And there's something so important about really, really abstaining from sex until you find the one. Because at the end of the day, get this right, at the end of the day, you only need one man. You don't need the whole world. Or also the other hand as well, uh, you must remember that um, the man or the woman you're sleeping with someone's husband or someone's wife, you already crossed the line there. 
if you are sleeping with a girl, even if, when you're single, like as a man single, and you're just kind of grazing every woman you find or man you find, you are disrespecting someone. Because that woman or that man is actually someone's wife or someone's husband. It's just time. And you've crossed lines. So I, I'm, I'm, I respect marriage deeply. And um, I chose that I'm not going to cross lines and to be disrespectful to other people. I would want to have a marriage really that represents the truth that I know. So for that reason, I will make sure that my steps really have to back up what I aspire. So that's why um, I chose that. So yeah. 18 years really has been an amazing journey and, and uh, still going. Yeah, because it's still going. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> so, praise God. <laughs> Some people may say, uh, circumstances, and I've heard people say, oh, but circumstances, you know, you never know. I, maybe I find myself in a place where I was desperate and I've been in situations like that too, but I still say, I'm here. God is so good. Not that I'm perfect. Like I said, I'll come one day, honestly, and tell you what are the advantages of abstaining from sex before you marry and what are the disadvantages. Um, and not like it's a bad thing, but it's just that you'll find to get to deal with a lot of struggles. And how can you overcome those struggles? Is what I'm going to come back one day and just, and just be of a blessing to you. So I can help because I know part of them are my girls today, especially the ones that are in the church. We have chosen to be, um, you know, to abstain from sex before they marry. And they always, they don't find backup or they don't find role models, they're struggling. But here I am, I can be a role model, I can be of a, of a blessing to you. I'm 40 years old, which means I've lived, yeah, I've lived. And I can help you to be able to find balance as you walk through the journey until you find the right one. Even if it doesn't work, still praise God. The issue is not about the other men. The issue really is about you. So people make mistakes when they think, oh, if I do something, it's because of someone else. No. Because sometimes I ask questions to young people, and I'm like, hmm. When you are having sex with a man when you meet him and you're dating, what is your goal? They will tell me so many reasons. But most of the reasons don't really make sense because there's no need. He's a man that is passing or he's a woman that is passing. She has no, she, she has no way, no bearing in your destiny. So why are you wasting your life and your energy? You know what I mean? Why sharing your energy with the wrong people? So I always encourage young men and women and say, listen, respect yourself. Take time. Take time. Focus on important things. You know, as God walks through the journey with you, everything is going to work for you. Relax. Chill. Notwithstanding the pressures of life. But um, your purpose matter. Uh, the other stuff that matters is your sanity, mental sanity, emotional sanity, physical sanity. Um, you've seen girls who are literally like 22 years old that looks like they're 45 or 50 years old. You know, because they overwork themselves. They are wise to people who don't even know, they, who don't even care if they exist or not. They use them and they dump them like chewing gum. You love yourself first, eh? Young men and women, love yourself first. Okay, so this has been a journey, guys. Um, I think how many minutes uh, I'm going to take I'm sitting like about skis eight. So this is almost like an hour and about eight minutes, ten minutes. I wanted to do about an hour and a half. So I want you guys to please make sure that you tell me where you're watching from because I'm going to send some shout out to you. And also, um, I'm asking you to like this live. Please like the live. Like the live. Please like the live. We're almost done. I really love Oxo that is soft. I love my meat to be soft. So that when I eat, I don't have to struggle chewing it. I'm just, mm, I can just, mm. right now my mouth is watering. <laughs> mouth is watering. Um, and the guys told me what you're doing, where you are, what's happening, where you are. And by the way, we're talking about Mr. Nagagwa and um, is the inauguration that is coming up. Um, interesting. People are laughing literally. People are laughing all over the place and say, sir, whoever is advising the president this time, that person, that person will go down in history as the most embarrassing failure of our lifetime. The person is advising the president wrong. You know, people matter. We matter. And uh, he must have that relationship with us. And make sure we do good by the country. Did you guys also saw the petition? Because I already signed the petition. 
that um, we are seeking intervention in the national community as well as SADC to really, really sort out to Zimbabwe. So I don't know why we are busy pursuing all those other means. The president is on his way to the altar to get married <laughs> to Zimbabwe. <laughs> and the Zimbabwe is us, and we are not in love with him. Right? He's on his way to the altar. He's getting married to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe that does not want him. It's a handful that have hidden agenda. No, no sane person can support what happened last week, this shambolic election. No sane except a person who has an agenda. And we know crooks, thugs, elites have the agenda. It's all about them. They're selfish, they're evil, they're, they're just diabolical. They don't care about the masses. That's the other reason. But I want to tell you, I don't know where ZMPF is going, but only God knows where they are going. So guys, I want you to tell me what do you normally um, like save your oxtail if you're making some oxtail. What do you normally save it with? Like I said to you before, I normally we normally do rice, so we do a papa sadza. Yeah, so it's called the papa for it is a sadza and she uh, Okay, so you want me to dish? Okay, I can do that, please. Okay, so I can show you something. Okay, so chill, relax, let me bring your plate so I can dish. Okay, I'm so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring your plate, so relax. Okay, um, so I always prefer to use a plate. So we're gonna dish now, so I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so here we are. What is this spoon? We're gonna use this spoon. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna dish our oxtail. It looks, mm, guys. I, I, I love the smell. Oh my god, it's so good. It is so soft. So we got, I'm gonna show you and the gravy as well. Oh my god, this looks delicious. I'm gonna test. I'm gonna test it as well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I, like, I love the smell. So we're gonna do a little bit of parsley. So let's cut off parsley quickly. Um, so let's see here. Um, so guys, I'm telling you, I love and I love and I love. I love to eat nice meals. I'm like, I'm a lover of. Um, I don't, I, I eat takeaways, but I don't really like takeaway that much. I prefer warm cooked meals, guys. I prefer, so I'm gonna cut like, some fresh parsley here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to make sure that we cut this one. Okay. So, guys, I want to, let, I wanna test. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit of pork here. So, guys, I'm a... by the way, I'm actually vegan. So, <laughs> I'm vegan. So, uh, my sin, I'm joking. I'm... <laughs> all right. So, I, I sometimes like I don't eat meat all the time. I don't really, I'm not really a lover of meat. So, I eat most of my family, my sister, they love meat, and I say eat once in a while. So, because it's Friday, so I want to eat it, but I rarely eat meat. So, it's, it looks very, very yummy. Check that. Check guys, it's uh, I tried y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I tried, so yeah, you're gonna see. So, uh, okay, I just wanna taste a bit, test a bit, a little bit. I'm gonna take a piece of a chunk just to taste. Like I told you, I, want, I prefer my meat to be soft. So let's see. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, yeah, trust me, like. <laughs> Oh my God! Mm. Mm. Even the vegetables, they're tender. Um, oh my God, this is oh, this is so yummy. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Praise God. Mm. Um, guys, I had such a great time with you. I love you so much. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> 
that kind of guys i'm so excited yo you hang out with me and it means really a lot yo i'm so excited to hang out with you guys task has been a long day but I, I was so faithful to say i promise you guys i'm gonna cook with you where we just die in each other and um really the time is gone so my son is a school uh, sorry it's, it's sorry a church because so i need to go pick up my son from church because they went to attend the um, church so that can show you that yeah so i'm a mom i need to drive a car to go pick up my son and my alarm is like go take my child go take the child so i love you guys i love you so much and may god bless you all and um see you next time sleep tight y'all it's heavy friday and i'll see you tomorrow i love you and god bless you Bye for now. Let me go take my sweetheart. Thank you guys. Bless you all.